Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Good okay. evening, sir. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us someplace to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out old Cornwall and what's his name? Milky no, knows what he is. Enjoy your Champagne, night, sir. sir. Get me a bloody drink, will Good you? Evening. A small one. How's things? Just big enough for Splendid, me to swim as it were. In, you know? Yes, madam. <laughs> Glad you to know hear. What? Take care. Great. Goodbye now. Sir? Well, hello, gentlemen. Featherstone Chambers. Pleased to meet you. Heston James. What a beautiful evening. You're walking away from history if you haven't thought of that much of the Come on, Mr. Can I help you, sir? Did you get that, my bad? You French, sir. Sort of. Original. I'm from Quebec. <laughs> 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 Okay. My lord. The pesky nut. What a way to go, eh? Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you again, my fellow adventurer. I'll try to. How are you, ladies? How's it going? I can't lie. The Lord's blessed me. Good. All the best now. I'll see you later. Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. It ain't complex, you And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy! You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. <laughs> hey, you are pretty drunk. Yeah, what say you and me cool off? Me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Then you can rejoin the party. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. The mayor. Allegedly. There's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? My lord. The writer? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. It's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come and sign it in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure.
No problems? Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terry. The telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate chip and beat him! I will not have standard slip! I'm sorry, sir, but the party's in the garden. Forgive me, I was unaware. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you, you know this. Standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money moves through here, of course, and I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it.
<laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law react. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller, fine man, here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailor's. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. And where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. <clears throat> Always good to see you. You damn fool, Arthur Morgan. You'll catch your dad. But put some warm clothes on. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still art.
You settling back in? I like it here. Lots of places to explore. Some pools and whiskey. <sighs> like the waves of the bay well, of the biscuit. Looks like we'll live to uh, say at least a few more days. Tumble and war. Just the biggest load of nonsense yet. Okay. Yeah, it's enough to turn a good, honest fella to drink. To see your face Being a bad, dishonest fella, room here. it's gonna send you me wanna to sit? Uh, I reckon watch. you might be the most loyal of the lot. What else is there? I'll never get drunk. Huh. Idiot. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Fantastic. You Americans are nothing but shysters and traitors and slippery tongue bull suckers. I'm inclined to agree. Ah, here, help me please. Back to work with a bloody smile. <laughs> no problem, Marco. You are the great genius. So we shall the hot poker up the ass. Say thank you, Marco. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What are you? Some kind of. European toy maker? No, I am a fucking genius with poker up the ass, like I say. Toy maker. Hello? Do I look like I should entertain children? No. No, he says. 
No. <laughs> I am the savior of the mankind, buddy. Yes, you meet him. Professor Marco Dragic. <laughs> the one the silver tongue American betrayed. And not paid the money to. Yes, he told to shit, man. So, uh, what's this toy about? It is not a toy, Big Nuts. It is demonstration of my genius. Of my ideas about the source of life. Oh, it's a toy boat. Yes, it is a toy boat that I can power remotely using electricity and waves you cannot see. Good for you. <laughs> waves I cannot see. And still the investors will not come. Just a couple of old ladies and a moron. <laughs> ladies, please. <laughs> Ladies! <laughs> Gentlemen! Enchanté! <laughs> Hello! Hello, sir! <laughs> okay, uh, how is the piles? Yeah? Good, good, good. Okay, uh, my friends, you are about to witness history. A demonstration of my infinite insight. All of us, we feel old. You, you are old. But maybe I can make you immortal. Yeah. <laughs> Using waves you cannot see. I will power this boat. You're a goddamn fraud. And this buffoon dressed up like a buffoon is a stoolie. I watch them conspire, you morons. I never met this buffoon before two minutes ago. Isn't that right? Which part of it? So, Professor... Show us your magical toy boat. Only this time, let the buffoon control it. Check if there's any funny business. No, this ain't nothing to do with me. Come, please, please. Uh, it is easy. Any moron could do it, and I am about to prove that. Here, take this, and this, and... Uh, don't touch that. Use these ones to steer, and this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Yes, now, now blow up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dinguit can use torpedoes on boats to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have a certificate. Be mine now, look! You see what he does? No wire like telegraph, no pulley system underwater, only waves in the air. This is remarkable. Think of those poor boys on the HL Hunter. Eight of them perished to a mere five on the Housatonic. And what a way to go. Trapped in a box at the bottom of the bay. I suppose you intend to make an unmanned killing machine? You misunderstand. This is the secret to life, not death. Friends, my great... There, I'm gone for you. Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something, but I'm not sure what, if anything. Use these ones to steer, and uh, this one to shoot torpedoes, okay? Uh, yes, now go up the little battleships and, and avoid the sea mines. They have magnets attached. Make a nasty explosion if they touch the bot. Okay! If this silly dimwit can use torpedoes on boat to destroy the battleships, imagine what technology can do in the hands of certified genius! And I have certificate. I say look out for mines. Torpedoes do not have so much range. I am an invisible wave engineer, not a rocket physicist. You see what he does? No wire like telegraph, no pulley system underwater. There, I'm gone for you. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, you see what he does? Now bring the boat back to the dock. That sure was something. <laughs> Let me just reload. <laughs> this is... Really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. 
Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of harm. Still avoiding magnetic mines. Oh, we'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk. Reload her. <laughs> this is really remarkable. This is just a, a demonstration of my prowess, sir. <laughs> the real miracles require investment. <laughs> ah. Now the dimwit will use invisible waves to destroy the little sailing boats before they get to other side of pond. Still avoiding magnetic mines. No, oh, he'll attempt to at least. Shush! You're not here for this smart talk! This I'm making a Navy man the out of me, yeah? The machine. The motor car. They will all seem pedestrian in comparison to this technology. We are not reliant on wires or coal or gasoline. No. Just a brain. Look who rules the seas. Very good. Very good. Now bring in the boat back here. Foolproof! Undeniably foolproof! But you are not fools. And unlike fools, not fools and their money are difficultly parted. <laughs> As I say, any fool, huh? Thank you, thank you. What is that? It is the stuff of life, sir. It's incredible. No, no, no. Incredible things are in my lab back at Dover Hill. That will astound all of you. Mr. Marcel, can I count on your support? Well, this is expensive. It is immortality, sir. It is, it is very cheap. Perhaps over lunch. Maybe. I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and thank you. Um, if you're ever up near Dover Hill, pay me a visit. There, I will really amaze you. Um, <coughs> and I hope you will forgive my... I know you. Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, I, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh... Well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. <laughs> you have great powers of observation. It's my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously, they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. 
Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Yeah. I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Here. Here. Be damn stupid if you think you can come back here. Blind man. There you go, oh, friend. Oh, bless you, mister. Truly, you're a saint. <laughs> yes, sir. There should be more people in the world like you. God bless. demonstration of my most marvelous machine the humane electric ending facilitator a chair so powerful it takes the sinner back to God oh, come around come around come around bring, bring the children to the front they're about to watch history as this poor unfortunate miss Mr. Wilson J. McDaniels. <laughs> Guilty of murder, bigamy, and immoral. <laughs> You're going to be in a better place. Now stay calm. Breathe deep and repent, or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the calm removal of this man's existence! <laughs> So 
humane. His life may have been troubled, but his passing is peaceful. Somebody shoot me, please. Oh, let's get up. You don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. Enjoy the show? That's possible. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Oh, progression. Paintings or otherwise. Oh, he won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. I think... That it's Greek. Or could be Roman. That's far too modern for my taste. Mr. Chardonnay, he's just a terror. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatonet. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> Well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. <laughs> oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, son of a bitch. Oh, you God. filthy little man. Oh, oh. Come on, horse. We'll leave hey, it. I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. Well, and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on. I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. This way, this way. Come on. I think we are okay. 
the exhibition. What can you say? It was not boring, huh? Come here. It was not. <laughs> You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases are left punch holes through. I told you I was a whore! You did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Come back here! Stay with me now! Head still rolling from the road. <laughs> Get going, boy. No, no, no. Stop! Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, you it will be worth something here. someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now seems like the only thing to get me is kicking the ball. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. <laughs> Hey, come on, watch it. You're going down now. I'm not allowed to fix this. Who's talking now, huh? Move it! You're out of your head! What a strange person. Damn it to hell! Extraordinary. Hey, you I'll make sure that. you answer to the law soon enough. Excuse me? Oh, oh God, please, no! Stop! God, or I'll leave. kill you! Isn't I there swear. a police officer around here? Hey, stop! Back there! They won't I'm come! Robbing. Mercy! Mercy! You can't treat Why don't you leave like now that? before don't this gets any worse for you? Will do. Just, uh, misunderstand. No, I implore you. Yeah, 
bonjour, monsieur. Hey, fellas. That man, man. Something is hurt. very wrong with that man. That ain't the way Move. you it. Watch your step. Enough of finding the law. It's all a big misunderstanding. Don't get confused about that. Whoa, now. Hey, I think about this. Please, I do it. This ain't a discussion. Take it easy. I didn't see a damn thing. You can believe it. Oh, now, don't go bleeding about this to no one. How's your name? Mind your business, I'll mind mine. Well, how are you doing anyway? That's the rule. Gentlemen, is you have salut? Hey, officer. Good morning. You must need eyes in the back of your head. Uh-huh. Anyway, I won't disturb you any longer. So long. Morning. Bonjour. Hi there. Bien le bonjour, monsieur. Morning, sir. Mais bonjour. Good morning, ma'am. Howdy, fellas. Morning. Hey, mister. Morning. Ah, there you are, dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A very A bitter, jealous sir. people. You can see the aristocrat in his... Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. 
Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Uh, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Come on. Time is not ours to waste right now. Make him look like a prince, sir. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the rocks. I've arranged some transportation for us. To the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't winnie up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to buy. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out! Get outside yourself! Yeah, all right, all right. Saint Hamlet. So, who's a mark? You all right, by the way, driver? Oh, yes, don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. <laughs> ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Oh, 
Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Take a seat, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, then. Well, Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting into hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Call. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Call. Interesting. They're cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there was some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well... Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God 
Damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And. How exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. My friend is not a noble chief, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. Hello, mister. There he is. Oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. Something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. We gotta get out of here.
Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Holy. Please, can you keep it down a bit, Lillian? Ah, shut up! Bonjour, monsieur. There ain't nothing normal about what you're doing. My God, look he at you fools. He better get his fools. act together. I have nothing to say to that, my dear. I'm going to fetch the law. Hey! I this is a big mistake! No, please! They're fool, dear. Don't hit Just shut up, damn it. Please! Will you just talk? Don't you test me! You don't have to worry. I'll keep quiet. And rule over their own king. Careful now. Oh, boy. Stay back. That's fair. Yeah. You better hold it.
Excuse me. Yeah. You ever play this before, friend? Take a seat. See if you're interested. It's the getting away from it all more than anything, right? Bonjour, monsieur. Let's see one more game. What with the drug again today? Oh. Really? I better go all in. How do well, you do? All in for me. You really want to play? No thanks. That's it. That's round for me, huh? That's a damn fine hand there. Just to keep up with the cost of import alone. Yep. Ah, no shit. Damn, that's pretty. Be seeing you. Nice to see you. Focus. Come on. This is Limoges to complete the service. Oh, if we only could send her to. Careful. I go to hell. Are you well? How long you Thank got you for your help? Out of the damn way! What is wrong? Hey, will you help a fella out? Uh, get yourself some real food, huh? Listen, you have to take this. Well, that's real kind of you. I lost my money playing poker. I know where a good game is. Above the gunsmith. Uh, real? Hush. Above the gunsmith, huh? Oh, I'll keep that in mind. Watch your step. Will you please leave me? Agre. Come on in. We stock the finest guns in America. I suppose it was only a matter of time before the riverboat was... Excuse me! Get out of there! This is a civilized establishment. Sorry, pal. This is invitation only. What's wrong with you? Relax, my friend. Never mind. My father. Hey, move it! Oops. Oh, dear. Hello, sir. 
Okay there. Hello, gentlemen. Hey there. Howdy. My youngest got his spurs all tangled up with that filly from down the way. I swear these boys will be the death of me. That's just how it is, I reckon. Sorry, mister. Excuse me. You shouldn't be there. Don't mess around in here, please. I'm sorry, partner. Why are you doing this? Damn it, get out of here. Relax, friend. Tell me, how are you doing? I don't have time for this. I don't even know where to start telling you. Pardon me. Here, there's packs of savages all covered in furs hunting for scalps in the mountains. Makes Hello, me wish Serge. I was young again. I'd take care of those bastards myself. Hello. Nice people around here. You have me mistaken, sir. Wow, that was... Give me out of my mouth. Help me! Faster! Please! Hurry sorry. up! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, here. That's <laughs> enough. That's not... I want to see what you got behind that door back there. Now! <laughs> Nothing. This is a back terrace where people go relax and just get away from everything. Let's go in and relax then. Go on, move. Must be a slow day. 
You know how it goes. So there you are. Where else would I be? Hey! What the hell's going on? Wild security. What the hell's going on back here? No, nothing. Honest. I'm just paid to guard the place. To guard the back alley? Don't lie to me, you son of a bitch. I just do what I'm told. I don't ask too many questions. All right, you've got three seconds before your goddamn corpse. Three, two. Okay, okay. Take it easy. <sighs> A little poker game, that's all. Third floor, upstairs. Door at the end of the hallway. Just calm down. No shooting. They ain't paying me enough to care about this. I won't breathe a word to no one. Here's a private event. You'll have to leave. Hey, come on. I got money. What's the buy? You ain't on the list. Leave now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid. Stay it's all right, right there on the table. I may just forget about you. You won't get any trouble from me. It's all yours. Just, just stay calm, okay? All that commotion, I wouldn't hang around, sir. Police respond very quickly around here. Oh, God, please, go. We won't tell a soul you were here. I swear on my life.
Hello, fellas. I owe you one. You do the same. How'd you find me? Ain't too many fellas in this town fitting your description. Now go before someone sees you. Okay, boy. Let's go. Thanks, mister. You help me out. What? saloon next to the freight station you know if I'm heading in the right direction uh sure just head over that way you'll be home in no time Evening. well thank you mister am I glad no, I asked I got myself right this spun around Howdy. New in town? Snake oil. You have no idea the trouble I'm going to go through. Wait a sec. You can't be over there. And there's nothing for you back there, sir. Yeah, this shop ain't the place for your tomfoolery. What do you want? This is private. Get lost. You get gone. Whoa! Let me into that back room of yours right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved with them, I promise you. You make them open up, or you're a dead man. Hey, uh, open up! 
It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Don't try anything funny. Thought you were that cowpoke who bothered us earlier. Put it on the table. Looks like a nice little bitch you got going back here.
Help the blind! Help the blind! Help a blind man. Take this. You didn't run when last we spoke, sir. You didn't run far enough. All right, friend. Oh. Okay, boy. Came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. There. You see that light up there? I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence, or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the guard. Tom? Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then.
must be Danbury. Who? <clears throat> what? Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. <clears throat> Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti? I... Danbury. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over such a nice I... floor as this. It's here! It's here! Done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes. Don't worry, he was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Okay, boy.
Alright. Looks like something. I better get moving. I got a ways to go. Far now. Come on, boy. Thank <laughs> you. 